What's up guys, Hong Nguyen, OG Fitness, welcome to the channel. Um, for those of you guys who are new, I'm a black belt in judo, a blue belt in BJJ, a uh, lifelong martial artist, and I'm 44 years old. So, um, oh, so this channel, by the way, is dedicated to uh, fitness for martial arts, for older guys. Of course, if you're a young dude, then I think you're going to benefit a lot from learning uh, stuff not to do. Okay, so let's get into this video. In this video, we're going to talk about uh, my street creds. Um, so somebody asked me in the comment section uh, regarding if I ever been in a uh, self-defense uh, situation and if I spoke French. But let me read to you guys the message, right? And then we're going to get to answering it. All right. So, salut. That's French, by the way, for hi. Uh, I have a two questions. First, are you been in a, a real self-defense situation in the past? So yes to that. And uh, are you speaking French? Yes, I speak perfect French. I was actually, uh, I grew up in Montreal, Quebec. So if you guys have any questions, um, you could ask it to me in French in the comment section and I'll answer you. I'll answer you guys in the comment section. I don't mind answering you guys in, in French, okay? But in the video, I'm gonna answer in English uh, because I want everyone else to understand. I think most of the people who watch my stuff are from actually the US. Um, but yeah, I could, I could speak French. No, no problem. Sans problème. OK. Alors, je parle bien français. T'inquiète. Euh, laisse un commentaire euh, dans la section commentaire et je, je, je vais te réécrire. So, yep. Um, all right. So let's get to it. And of course, I said I was going to make a video in regards to this. So let's go. Let's see now. So I took the time to list out <clears throat> my uh <laughs> what's the word i'm looking for i was gonna say palmarès but that's actually french um uh, my 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 uh god damn it what's the word i'm looking for you know how your record you know so to speak okay so i've had about maybe i would say at least 12 fights street fights okay and so these are fights that um, in bars, uh, in clubs, and karaoke's, uh, in restaurants, and in the streets. And all of them involve a lot of alcohol, uh, hanging around with guys who, like myself, were you know uh, looking for trouble and or just waiting for yeah, waiting for things to to pop off and just have the opportunity to just jump on somebody and beat them up kind of thing. I was in gangs, by the way. So that's that kind of explains it, right? <clears throat> self-defense now, self-defense situation, uh, one time. One time where I was uh, I was jumped by two dudes, okay, in a hotel room. And one of them, I, I had a couple of bottles smashed on my head and the other guy had a knife as well. So um, that's a story for another time. But obviously if I'm here, it's because I got out of it um, alive and it, <laughs> it didn't end very well for one of the dudes, but we'll talk about that in another video. Um, I also did, uh, uh, I did 18 months inside guys. So I did time and that's a story for another video, but, uh, yeah, man, I was, uh, in my twenties, I, I was pretty wild in my teens. I was in gangs. And then in twenties, I was essentially doing up to a lot of no good. And at one point, uh, things happened, right? And I got busted and I did 18 months inside, right? In a uh, provincial uh, jail in, in Quebec, in Montreal. And okay, so that's that, right? That's the so-called street crits. Now, after that, at the age of 30 was when I started doing uh, BJJ. I discovered BJJ and I did about 10 to 12 uh, BJJ competitions right and then after that i transitioned to judo so at 36 i transitioned to judo and i've been doing judo ever since along with uh you know a lot of uh wrestling striking kickboxing muay thai and all that but i did about 30 judo comps in total in in a span of like about eight years okay and i did one mma fight uh last year so that was fun and so that's 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 all the so-called competitions that I've done. Uh, I plan on doing more eventually, but right now I'm taking a little break to heal up uh, on my injuries and all. And uh, I'll talk about that in another video. But you guys got to remember that imagine 10 to 12 
jiu-jitsu competitions, 30 judo competitions, one MMA fight. That represents countless, countless sparring sessions and randori sessions in, you know, BJJ and judo, uh, in kickboxing, in Muay Thai and wrestling and MMA and boxing. And when I was younger, I also did Taekwondo, like from 16 to 19, I was in, I did Taekwondo and there was a lot of sparring going on there as well. Like, uh, you know, obviously Taekwondo sparring, right? Not, um, well, no punches in the face basically. So the street fighting thing, um, you know, it's not something I'm proud of to be honest. And, but the, the competitions and all the sparrings that led to me competing in judo, in BJJ, in, um, in MMA, and all of the, um, all of the striking that, I did, that I've done, uh, I've done a lot of striking in the past two, three years, that I'm actually really proud of. Um, and I would attribute where I'm at now in terms of skill-wise, I would attribute that 80% of, 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 um, of what I'm able to do now is due to you know sparring and competition right that's where my confidence comes from um like the street fighting stuff okay maybe 20 percent. like it, it kind of gives me uh i would say a an edge in a sense that i've been there before so it you know but it's just 20 percent. i would say what really makes a big difference for me personally is that with all the competition and all the sparring i've done now I know I can handle myself like 1000%. So that's why, you know, when we talk about all this self-defense stuff, to me, it's, it's, it's not that it's a joke, but I, I know for a fact that I could handle myself because one, I've done it before uh, in one self-defense situation. Uh, I had a gazillion, you know, not a gazillion, but, you know, a whole bunch of uh, street fights, bar fights, uh, you know, karaoke fights or whatever you want to call it. And then, of course, <clears throat> to back that up, have all the uh, all the accumulated um, competition experience and sparring that I've done in my clubs and all. So, yeah, like I, and because because I've been I, I've done all of that. The truth is, guys, like if you guys fight like in the streets, or most of the times it's bums, man. You know these guys can't fight. These guys can't fight, or at least you know like they're 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 like uh, they're they're in a gang or in a group, you know. And that's the only reason why they, they act a certain way, right? It's never in a, in a self-defense or, or thing, you know, self-defense or kind of street altercation. I've noticed, at least for myself, that a lot of times it's never just one guy that's going to come up to you, right? It's always a group of friends, you know, one or two guys, three guys, whatever. And, you know, they're drunk or, you know, they're looking for trouble, you know. So, that, so that's why, like, to me, it's like, okay, a lot of it has to do with, being very uh, aware of your surroundings, right? And, you know, the people call it situational, situational awareness. I just call it goddamn common sense. Like if you're walking around and you see two, three guys and yeah, they look kind of drunk or they look like they're a little bit sketchy. Yeah. Then you just cross the street, you know, and you avoid them. If you can't, well, Hey, just, you know, uh, be on your guard, you know, you're going to have to hit and run kind of thing. And yeah, it's no big deal, you know? So, like to me, it's, it's, it's just common sense. And at the end of the day, like it's about being, yes, you have to be able to fight, but it's, it's better to be, um, smart. Right. So yeah, you just gotta get yourself out of the situation. If you can't, then obviously, you, you know, that's why we train all the time. But what I'm saying is that a lot of these guys on the streets that go around looking for trouble, you know, um, they they're not highly trained man like the highly trained guys like we don't we don't spend time roaming the streets and looking for trouble and up to no good all right like of course it's possible you have guys who are somewhat trained um who who are troublemakers or who are you know roaming around and all that but for the most part they're all bums like all the guys that i was impressed with before that were like badasses that were into fights and everyone was scared of like back in the day when i was in gangs and up to no good in my 20s and all that those guys like now trust me nothing i would destroy them i would i would take them out and and we're talking about some some heavy guys here too like nothing man they don't impress me you know whether they have weapons guns knives none of that none of that no fear of you know whatever these these guys are you know um up to no good essentially but also like i'm never gonna run into these guys because i don't 
go out. I don't go out to bars. I don't uh, I don't hang around people who are up to no good. You know, so yeah, so that's that's uh, that's my story in terms of my uh, street creds and all. So I hope that um, that sheds a little bit of light. It gives you guys a little bit more insight into um, where I'm coming from when I talk about these kind of things, right? It's not just me. Uh, it's not like if I never got into a fight, right? And I'm talking about these things. And so I don't think I'm talking out of my ass. Uh, of course, I don't know everything. And I'm sure there's 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 guys with you know very, a lot of varied experience out there who could give uh, you know some good information about this. But uh, yeah, I honestly this this where right now where i'm sitting i think this this all the self-defense stuff it's all to me it's all a joke man you know <laughs> and yeah so let me know what you guys think if you guys think uh you know if what was i gonna say yeah guys just share this video help me grow the channel that's it peace